Alright, I think I got it. Let's start here. I hope. I got most of the way through it. And I want to I want to say that I've got it. You need to sort of leave stuff out as you go. No, back here. That's how I had it before. And then down. Out here. Then go around. And then around. Back here. And that brings us up to the top again. Alright, now this part. I uh, just want to make sure that we don't... And then... Back in and out. Thank goodness. <sighs> that one was a lot harder than the previous ones we've done. Commonly referred to as the Oak, the constellation for Vanus is generally represented by a towering tree with lifeless branches. Many scholars believe this is a representation of nature that harkens back to the lore of the early Neromenians, whose beliefs largely aligned with animism prior to the rise of the old god worship and the creation of the Deventer Imperium. Others, however, believe for Vanus was originally a constellation of the Elven people, specifically a depiction of Andril, goddess of the hunt. Vir Tenedal, or Way of the Three Trees, is a central tenet of Andril, and something that for Vanus originally presented this concept. Alright, well, you shoot your lasers. Now then, I want to get these shards. And, let's see. Looks like the shards that we're looking at are all down here. So if we pop down to this base, go through that cave a third time, and then boom, boom, boom. That should about do it for us. So let's do that. I wonder where the rest of the shards are. Because I think I've collected all the ones that I've found. Yeah, we're going to need to equip potions. In fact, these aren't these aren't really useful. The regen potions are more useful because it's another way to gain health. Whereas the lyrium potions don't seem to do anything. At least nothing useful. Not having to heal as a mage is kind of cool, but at the same time it'd be kind of nice to be able to heal at all. Alright, around we go. I'm hoping that these uh, Australian puzzles don't get too much harder than that because <laughs> I'm not good at puzzles to begin with. Alright. We got the fighter thing again. Oh god, we're gonna have to go through. We have to go through that horrible corner again. Wait, is there any other way around? Can I scale this mountain instead? Things I never thought I would say. That was dangerous. Because I think I went over this mountain earlier on. So it must be... No, come on. It must be possible, because I did it before. Granted, that was from a different angle. There we go. I have a feeling we can get up here, though. Because, I mean, I wouldn't mind going through the cave, except for that one weird, inexplicable bug. In 
in that one, uh, by that one pillar. If it weren't for- Whoa! Come on, don't make me immediately randomly jump backwards. I think we got it. Alright, good. Now we don't have to deal with that bug. Oh, and we got some summer stone. Everything's coming up, Harold. Okay, what's that? Assyrians. Can I equip this thing and have them suddenly respect me? Hi, I've got the thing on. So, nope, okay, that, that was a failed mistake. That did not turn out the way that I thought it might. That's enough out of you, sir. Oh, console, go away. Alright, that everything we need? Good. We got plus five gold. I'm all about that. And there's some loot here, so, you know, bonus. And more summer zone. Double bonus. I think I'm going to respec into straight up electricity because I did fire a lot in two. And the electricity stuff looks really fun. Like some of the passive abilities and stuff are really neat. Okay, so how do we get... How do we get here? Is it further down? There it is. I gotcha. Alright, one down. However many still to go. That doesn't look like a friendly descent. Alright. Is there some remains here I missed? I guess so, there must have been a... Yeah, there was a rift here before. Okay. And just up to this one, which shouldn't be too hard to get. Those guys look like trouble. I'm probably going to switch back to my better... What happened to my other thing? I had a better amulet that I was wearing, but I guess it's gone now, forever. This is a dumb amulet that doesn't do anything. Oh well. That's gone now. I don't have ice mines, so I don't really need an enhanced ice mine ring. wasn't as good as I was hoping. Uh, 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 uh. Everyone on that target, please. I guess partly it's because of that huge shield he's got. Alright, 
Now everybody on that one. Not as necessary. A subterfuge. I guess we can go and get that uh, spindleweed now. Is that a corkscrew on the end of Bianca? There's a corkscrew on the end of Bianca. I guess that's for stabbing, but I don't know if a corkscrew is your best bet. Man, if we ever need spindleweed, we are going to be 100% set. As in, like, Lord Ashweather set. I bet it's more spindleweed. It sure is. Where are you? Is it in this boat? No? There's a floating corpse up there. Ah! You were hiding in the water, you rapscallion. Alright then. I think it's dead. Yeah, you'd best panic. So what's this floating in the air here? Is it somebody's body? Because it looks like there's a body floating in the air. Oh look, spindleweed. Let's take a moment to appreciate how nice the algae looks in this game. Because it looks pretty nice. Alright. I'm gonna guess the last shard is up on top of there. It's probably a safe assumption. Yep. We can see. We crossed it to reach Haven. Already it seems so long ago. Well, you're here now. That's the important part, right? There you are. So where are these last three shards? Are they all over here? No, that's the lyrium. Which we can't get to for question mark reason. So they must be further inland? I guess so. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because I've got other stuff that I want to do. First I want to pop back to Haven, because we've got some stuff to do there. And once returned to Haven, do some crafting, do some mining. I'm just kidding, we're not going to do any mining. Just crafting. Make some weapons and such, upgrades, see how things are going there. And then uh, I think we're going to go and try and find this Blackwall character and get those horses back in the Hinterlands after we've finished dealing with the Friends of Red Jenny. So the remainder of this episode is going to be crafting stuff. If that's not your thing, then uh, feel free to not join me for it. Do -do -do. Travel safely. Do -do -do. Pass my facts to the researchers. Alright, what can we craft here? Scout mail, arms and legs. Apprentice coat, sturdy defender coat. This is all still tier 1. But let's see. Armor rating 63. Can we do better than that? What if we use velveteen? No, 63, 63. So it won't really improve that. What about any of this stuff? 
No, just changes the different kinds of bonuses that you get. Anything better than 109? No, nothing even approaching 109. Okay. So the armor that we can make isn't so great at the moment. Boost to dexterity. Hmm. Is Varric wearing scout mail? He's wearing scout armor. Does that count as scout mail, I guess? So we can probably make some scout mail arms and legs for him. Let's get him a nice boost to dexterity, I guess. Some nice bear hide there, and then... Big boost to maximum health. That's nice. Stagger on being hit. Boost to melee defense, boost to plus 20 maximum health. So that and Drakestone do the same thing. We've got more Drakestone, so we'll make that. Agile, vigorous scout arms. And some legs. Let's make those as well. Fire resistance. Cold range defense would be nice, I think. And down here. Magic defense, electrical resistance. Spirit Resistance. I think the heal bonus is... No, that's not what I meant. I wanted the one with the heal bonus. There we go. Deflecting Healing Scout Legs. Right. Alright, let's modify that armor that we've got. That we don't have. There we go. Oh, why aren't we wearing this? I guess because we can't yet. We have to wait one more level. But, I think we'll upgrade it all the same with this great stuff that we've got. There we go. So it's got those bonuses now, and Varric can wear it once we level up. Iron Bull. No heavy leg stuff anyway. And how about Argus Apprentice Mail? We've already got stuff in there. Cassandra, you've got the Reinforced Defender armor on. Already got stuff in there? Fine. Vivienne. Okay. And then Solus. Good. Let's craft some weapons. A Magister Staff, I think, would be good. 55 DPS. Yeah, that's a big boost for us. So, willpower, magic. Willpower, magic. So we've got the most lamb's wool, so that'll boost our magic. How about here? Boost to cold damage. Fire. Electricity. Cold, electricity, fire. Well, we've got a whole lot of iron, so I guess we're going to do electricity damage. And finally, boost to secondary stats. Looks like strength or constitution. I'm going to go with Constitution. Imbued Enduring Rod. Alright, cool. Uh, da -da -da -da. Guarded Longbow Grip, Firm grow Bow Grip. Can't make that yet. Now, can we make better ones than the ones that we have? And guess boost the dexterity there. 
agile limbs. That's cool. Sturdy Bianca grip. Strength constitution is always good to have, so we'll make that. And aiming. Armor penetration is always nice. So we'll do that. So what do we get out of this? Critical chance, flanking bonus, lead on hit. Lead on hit. Lead on hit, critical chance. Flanking, crit damage. Well, let's go for the critical chance there. Stagger, armor penetration. Does that matter for magic staves? I don't know if it matters here or not, but guard damage bonus I think sounds good. Let's make one of that. And a rugged staff grip. Willpower magic, willpower magic. Alright, so just a question of what we have the most of. More willpower would be good, and more of this extra bonuses. Uh, let's go for more of the guard damage bonus there. And I don't think we have anything else that we can make at the moment, but let's make another one of these. Boost to willpower. Let's do cold damage. And the constitution is always a good bonus there. Resolute Enduring Rod. Let's make another one of these grips. Boost to magic this time. Let's go with the armor penetration just in case it does mana ma matter. And I like the crit chance. Okay. Looks fine. Now let's modify these things here. Magic staff, imbued enduring rod. This was the one that I was going to use, so the grip. This one. Plus eight magic, dang. But I wanted the guard bonus, and this one. Okay, good. And the Resolute Enduring Rod. There we go. Pretty nice. That's a big bonus to our damage Looks fine. for our mages. Oh, and I forgot to do this one. Alright, so we'll lose some critical chance, but gain a lot more armor penetration. Start to Bianca grip, enduring grip, boost the constitution, but lose three cunning. Hmm. How about the arms that we've done? Big boost to dexterity, but huge loss to crit damage bonus and attack. But it will give us a big bonus to damage, so I guess we'll go with that. This won't change the damage, but we'll lose cunning and gain constitution. Mm, I'm going to stick with the way it's got right now. That's what makes sense to me. Yeah, nothing else we can do with that right now. What about Cassandra? The one she has equipped. Okay. Good. Good. When we return, we'll go do more stuff once I have switched over to the new staff.
All right. So until the next time, all the best. Hee <laughs> hee.